So I have been a user of Bitwarden for several years now, and I've made several videos about Bitwarden over the course of that time, and I still believe that Bitwarden is a very good password manager, but I've stopped using it. Now, my personal reasons for stopping really boil down to the fact that they had an update for their browser extension, and I just don't like it. Now, that seems to be a fairly silly reason to, to switch, but I just did not care for the refresh of their UI when it comes to the browser extension. Now, I don't know if that browser extension translated over into F Firefox or not, but when it comes to the Chrome version, and I use Vivaldi, it just was not a good update. And while a lot of the stuff that they changed was revertible, it was just a big pain in the ass, and I wanted to find something different. So I moved to Proton Pass, and what I want to do today is kind of talk about some of the things that I really enjoy about Proton Pass, especially when compared to Bitwarden, and a few of the things that I find not as good. So let's go ahead and jump in. The first thing that I will say about Proton Pass is that I like the UI overall more than I like the Bitwarden's UI. Now the old Bitwarden UI was pretty good. I enjoyed the browser extension, I enjoyed the application, and I enjoyed the mobile application. They were very usable, they were functional, and they looked good. Now, when it comes to a password manager, I don't care all that much about the aesthetics of it, but I don't want it to be, you know, Windows 98-esque. So, as long as it looks fairly good and it, more importantly, functions good, I like it, but like I said at the beginning there, Bitwarden changed their UI on their browser extensions fairly recently, and now that that's the case, the Proton Pass UI is just superior in my in my opinion. So I, I like the layout of the entries for all of your passwords. I like the layout of the two-factor authentication. I like that it is better integrated into your browser. One of the things that I always found annoying with Bitwarden, and maybe it's just because I use Vivaldi, I couldn't actually use the autofill functionality inside of Vivaldi all the time. Sometimes it would work, sometimes it wouldn't work, and whether or not it did or didn't really seemed to be fairly random. So with Proton Pass, it seems to work on the vast majority of websites, and it allows me to just kind of highlight a text field, select the login that I want, and it will fill it in. Whereas with Bitwarden, if I wanted to use autofill and it would work, I'd have to right click it, uh, right click the text field, go down to Bitwarden and then click fill. It wouldn't just do it, you know, it, auto, it wouldn't offer me that automatic ability to autofill, at least in Vivaldi. I don't know if it worked in better in other browsers. Maybe that's just the Vivaldi problem. I don't know. But for me personally, P Proton Pass works better when it comes to autofill, which is great. It also does a better job of autofilling two-factor authentication codes, which I also use Proton Pass to deal with for the vast majority of those. On the Bitwarden side for the two-factor authentication stuff, I'd have to open up the extension, copy the code from the extension, then go back to the text field where Proton Pass will actually pop up the, the code, ask you if you want to fill it, or copy it and it will allow you to do that and it's much more automatic it seems more seamless which is great I really enjoy that uh, another thing that I will say is that on mobile it also seems better integrated than Bitwarden especially on Android where it will offer you to fill in a username and password it will do that then it will also copy the two-factor authentication all in one go so you don't have to go back and forth between the application several different times in order to actually grab all the things that you need in order to log into something so that has been a much better experience than on Bitwarden in my at least in my experience now I will say that that's not the case on iOS so if you're an iOS person it's not quite as well integrated, but that's more of an iOS limitation than something to do with Proton Pass. Another thing that I really enjoy about Proton is that it doesn't op open a separate window for pass keys. Bitwarden does this, or at least when you're in a window manager, it will open up a separate like pop-up window when you have a pass key for a website. And if you're in a tiling window manager, that oftentimes will mean your entire window will split in half and a new window will pop up. If you're in like GNOME or KDE, a brand new window will pop up like on top of it and ask you, hey, do you want to use this pass, this pass key? I don't want a brand new window. I just want a, a part of the UI, part of the extension. And that's how ProtonPass actually does it, which is much better in my opinion. 
The next thing I want to talk about just a little bit is that the integration of email aliases in ProtonPass is a little bit better. Now, I know that they both do this, but ProtonPass just works better. If it finds out that you want to sign up for a new account somewhere, it'll ask you, would you like to use your real uh, email address or would you like to use an alias that we've generated for you? Bitwarden, at least again in my experience using it with Vivaldi, never was that automatic. I had to go into the browser extension. I had to actually ask it to create an email alias and then copy it and then go back to the text field. With ProtonPass, it's much more again automatic than that was. So I love that. Now, the fact that Bitwarden has it at all is very good. I, I'm proud of them for having it and offering it. I wish they'd bring it more front and center and make it more automatic. Now, again, maybe that is something that, that happens in other browsers. Maybe it does better in Chrome or in Firefox. On Vivaldi, it was never that automatic. I don't really have any proof of this next one, but it's just a feeling. For me, it feels like Proton Pass is faster. Now, when I mean faster, I mean is that it loads faster in terms of after you sign in, it loads faster. And it also pops up faster when you're looking for entries. So, again, I don't have any proof of that. It just feels faster. From the my time with Bitwarden, it always was just a tad bit slow. Now, I have probably four or 5,000 entries in my Bitwarden account. So, it's possible that that's the reason why it was a little slower. So, maybe I should just kind of weed some of those things out and it would be faster. But I have basically the same stuff in my Proton Pass account and don't see any problems with it. So, for me, it's been a little faster. Not game changing and again, not something that I can prove, but still definitely something that I noticed. The last thing that I want to talk about in this section is that Proton Pass will allow you to create secure, con secure contacts. So if you have contacts that you need to keep secret or you just don't want integrated with all your rest of your contacts, you can create uh, secure contacts with Proton Pass. I did not notice this functionality in Bitwarden. Now, there are still some areas where Bitwarden is just better. And the, and the biggest one is with credit cards. Now, Proton Pass does a good job with credit cards on Android. It doesn't do a good job with it in the browser. I have to go, if I'm trying to get a credit card number from Proton Pass in the web browser, I have to go searching for that specific credit card. It's not, it doesn't recognize that there's a field on the page asking for a credit card number like Bitwarden does. Bitwarden, when I was in a field that needed a credit card number, would have at least recognize that I'm in a field with, that needs a credit card number and say, here are your credit cards. With ProtonPass, I have to go searching for those credit cards on the web browser. Like I said, on Android, it comes up saying, hey, you know, here's your, your credit card number. Would you like to authenticate and fill that in? On the browser, not so much. And that's slightly disappointing because I, I, I use that functionality quite often in Bitwarden. So I wish, I, I, I hope that they fill that. Again, this might be a Vivaldi specific problem. I don't know. But for me, that's been my experience. Another just slight downside for Proton Pass is that it's not self-hostable. I self-hosted my Bitwarden for a few months after I started my uh, home lab, and I enjoyed doing that. I felt a little bit more secure, I, although I, I don't know that that was actually the case. Uh, apologies for the, the, the helicopter out there, if you guys can actually hear it. But anyways, I, I felt more in control of the whole thing. Now... Proton Pass is open source, so it's like Bitwarden in that case. But as far as I know, you can't self-host it. So, again, not a big deal. It's not something that I think about often, but still, it's still a difference that I, you know, thought I'd mention. And the last one is that I feel like Bitwarden does better notes and file storage, mainly because Bitwarden does file storage, whereas Proton Pass, as far as I know, does not. Now they they both do secure notes, but the note taking on Proton Pass feels a little bit more buried. Now, because you have to, at least in the browser extension, you have to go into the little drop down, press notes, and then press the plus thing, or you can press the plus thing at the top. And it just feels a little bit more buried. Whereas with Bitwarden, it was a little bit more front and center. Although with the update, again, they buried it a little bit more than it was before. So uh, that's something that I noticed. Just kind of to wrap this up, as an overall kind of thing, I have really enjoyed my time with Proton Pass. It has just worked better 
than Bitwarden does. It's better integrated with Vivaldi at least, and I'm assuming across other browsers, it's better integrated now that I'm on Android. It works really well that way. It, it, it handles pass keys better. It has a be better UI now that Bitwarden has messed around with their extension. It's just overall very, very good. Now, the biggest downside of ProtonPass is that it's a lot more expensive. Now, they do have a free account that gives you unlimited logins, notes, and all that stuff, and you can put it on all your devices. So it's not like LastPass, where you're limited to just a couple of devices, and it's fully open source on like one password. So it does a really good job of covering the basics for free. So you can use it for free, but it doesn't include 2FA at that price point. You have to pay for $3 a month in order to get 2FA for your services and if you want to use like unlimited credit cards things like the dark web monitoring which both bitwarden and proton pass offer you have to pay the 3.99 a month subscription fee and they all they also add if you want to do a family account that's five dollars a month if you are wanting to integrate that with your mail it's, it's ten dollars a month so the ten dollar a year fee for bitwarden is mightily impressive especially when you consider that the vast majority of the stuff you get for free whether you pay them or not you know the the paid part of that is mostly a donation and you just get a few extraneous things like a little bit of extra storage which nobody probably uses and things like that all the pr password managery things comes free with bitwarden whereas with proton they do surcharge some of their more premium features and that's going to be a turnoff for a lot of people a lot of people and I understand that because you know you, you want to be secure without having to pay money and that that's fine in this economy I can't blame people for not wanting to pay you know money even though I do think that three dollars a month is fairly reasonable for the vast majority of stuff now I was I have proton mail and I have proton unlimited and that allowed me to have access to all the Proton Pass features. That's one of the reasons why I switched to it after that horrible Bitwarden update. So just overall, that worked out well for me. So if you do have Proton Mail and you have Proton Unlimited, you have access to this already. So you don't have to, there's no downside other than having to switch over. I should maybe talk a little bit about the process of switching over. It was painless. I just exported all my stuff out of Bitwarden, imported it all into Proton Pass. It took like 10 minutes or so and it just worked really well. I haven't noticed any flaws in the transfer, which is something that I can't say about something like KeyPass XC, which for whatever reason messed around with some of my, my logins. So it was a flawless transition from one thing to the other. I will say this though, moving pass keys over is a pain in the ass because you have to do it per service. And if you don't remember which services you have pass keys for, just take it from me, keep your old password manager around. Don't immediately delete it or disable it. Even to this day, I, I've used ProtonPass now for a couple of months, and I still have Bitwarden self-hosted and uh, installed in Vivaldi. I don't have it enabled so that I don't see pop-ups all the time, but every once in a while, I'll come to a service where I enable pass keys, and I don't have it in ProtonPass. So I have to go enable Bitwarden, you know, sign in, add the pass key for pass add the pass key for Proton Pass, and then I can go back and disable Bitwarden. So during the transition period, which may take you a little while, especially if you use pass keys, keep both of them around. That way you can get to, get to your pass keys because the pass keys were not transferred. And that's not surprising given that they're very service specific. You have to tell the service what the, where the pass key is coming from. So uh, that's definitely something that you're going to want to keep in mind if you're planning on transitioning from one place to another and that really is true no matter what where you're going and, and changing to so that's it for this one if you have thoughts on proton pass or bitwarden or any of that stuff you can leave those in the comment section below i'd love to hear from you if you haven't already leave a thumbs up on this video it really helped the channel i'd really really appreciate it and if you haven't subscribed yet and you like this type of content hit that subscribe button and hit the little bell notification thing so that you know when i publish new content because i publish new content quite often and you don't want to miss any because it's pretty awesome or at least it's awesome ish so you know if you want some awesome ish content do all that stuff you won't be sorry that you did. And if you are, if you do end up being sorry, you can always unsubscribe. So 
Um, what you got to lose? Hit the subscribe button. If you want to support me, you can do so at, Pro at Patreon at Proton. That's gonna say. <laughs> you can support me at Patreon at Patreon.com/slash the Linuxcast. Links for YouTube and Kofi and Libera Pay will be in the video description if you want to support me on one of those platforms as well. Thanks to everybody who does support me on Patreon and YouTube. You guys are all absolutely amazing. Without you, the channel does not be anywhere near where it is right now. So thank you so very, very much for your support. Like I said before, if you want to support me, Patreon at patreon.com slash linuxcast. Or you can head on over to my store where you can get one of these shiny little hats that say Linux Nerd. And you cannot, in fact, be a Linux Nerd without a Linux Nerd hat. So this is me selling you on my store, which is available at shop.thelinuxcast.org. There you find hats like this, t-shirts mugs all sorts of awesome stuff branded and unbranded all linuxy if you will and all that the proceeds for all that stuff goes directly towards helping me make more linux content for you guys so win win for all of us you get merch i get money win 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 all right anyways that's it for this one i hope everyone has a wonderful day i'll see you next time